Oh, yes, indeed. Don't smile yet. I want you to do the hardcore faces, the hardcore faces, because that's how intimidating they looked when I walked into studio this morning. South Africa's first all-female firefighter squad, very aptly named the Juliet Crew, join us in studio this morning. They are heroes. And I think especially more so after battling the chaotic blaze on Table Mountain recently, standing tall amongst men. And I think joining us this morning very proudly, Yanga Yowana, Anati Galada, Tozama Matabata, Zamisa Kana, and Butle Tebekwana, ladies of the <laughs> no, you don't understand, when you came out with your mask on, you had that steely look in your eye. I was like, whoa, this is going to be a difficult interview. And then as soon as the mask come off, then you smile, I'm like, ah, oh, just so lovely. It is so cool to have you guys here. Um, Anati, you, you were looking nervous there. How can you be nervous for TV and you sit and you fight fires? Come on, man, that's crazy. This is going to be the easiest thing you've ever done. I, I'm so proud of you guys for what you have achieved. But uh, Young, I'm going to start with you. When we think of firefighters, unfortunately, the perception is always men. Is it a difficult thing for a woman to make her mark as a firefighter? What has your journey been like? My journey is what, like, it was difficult for me to be a firefighter, but I have a perseverance because I, my dream is I, I was want to be a police officer, wow. but then I saw the boast of firefight, firefight. Then I just email and then to, to put my stuff in. Then I, I got the job as a firefight. It was meant to be. It's a calling. Yes. I love that. Anati, what made you want to become a firefighter? Had you heard of female firefighters before? What was your motivator? What, why do this job? Uh, well, I've known of female fire, there were female firefighters, but I didn't know about the wild firefighter. So I've always wanted to uh, I always wanted to play part in helping uh, people. And now so you're doing it on a, a different level. So it was either I joined the army or the law enforcement or the firefighter. So anyway, I got a job as a firefighter and I fell in love with it. So yeah. It, it's obviously meant to be. And I would imagine that you get tested all the time. And I'm going to keep raising this that, you know, it is a male dominated arena. So, <clears throat> and maybe Tozama, you can answer this. When someone finds out that you're a firefighter, are they surprised? Are they shocked? At first they were surprised. Uh, I've received uh, many questions such as, uh, how do you afford to carry such a big hoses at the fire, <laughs> on the fire line? Because you're a woman and it, uh, they don't see that we have those muscles of males. So <laughs> we do fitness and then we can do whatever males can do. Uh, like firefighting, because we do the same training on, uh, as firefighters. And it's hardcore. I got to train with firefighters for one day, and I'll never forget when I met the first firefighter I met was a woman, and when she shook my hand, she just about <laughs> crushed my fingers. And I was thinking, okay, this is going to be tough, and it was one of the most physically grueling things I've ever put myself through. Um, but Butle, the job is beyond just getting into the, that sort of environment, the pictures that we're seeing of the fires and how intense that is. What, what does the job involve? It's not just putting out fires. What, what do you do as a firefighter working here in Cape Town? Oh, my name is Zimasa. This Zimasa, is... sorry, <laughs> you stopped your arm. Zimasa, maybe you want to take that one. Uh, the things that we do, we're doing fire breaks. Uh, we're burning stacks. When you talk about fire breaks, it's breaking like we're burning taking out of a, f a fuel from properties. So we're protecting the, the properties that are not burned yet. And instead of then stuck burning, we're burning uh, some trees so that whenever it's gonna be like fire season again, so that we know that we don't have uh, much fuel for us to do much jobs. So those are the kind of stuff. Not if Tozama, you wanna add anything from there? Oh yes, we also uh, do some prescribed burnings, uh, burning the old vegetation 
because when the vegetation is too old, it's easy for the fire to become bigger and and spread faster and damage um, most of properties. Saw, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. Zumisa. Butle on the end. <laughs> now I'm, I'm, I'm figuring it out. Butle, yes. terrifying job, I would imagine, when it gets to the kind of situations that you faced here in Cape Town. What is the scariest situation you've been in? Um, the first fire that I was fighting. Is it your question, Mosh? Yeah. Yeah. My first fire was, I was very scared. <laughs> because it was my first fire to fight the fire. And then I was feeling like I can even cry. <laughs> I can even jump or I can even run away because of I'm scared of the fire. Uh, but I tell myself, no man, all the people that they are firefighters, they doing this and then they were always having the, the supervisors they doing their jobs for lookouts of us. That uh, they got your back, yeah. Yeah, if if ever, uh, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> I know, man. It's a, it's a different environment now. The next time you face a fire, you're gonna feel so relaxed because you've done this. I'm gonna add another th thing to the list of things that you do now, as being part of the all-female firefighting crew. You also have to do PR and go on TV, which is another badge that you can give yourselves. Ladies, what an honor to meet you. Thank you so much for the service that you give us as a city. And, and thank you for putting your lives at risk for the safety of your fellow South Africans. That's something that we really do appreciate. And we've loved having you here. Thank you so much. And, and please stay safe. Please stay as safe as you can. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the first all-female firefighting crew. The Juliet crew. And I don't want you to stop smiling for the rest of the day. <laughs> Hopefully that's inspired you just a little bit. Imagine for a young girl to see what is possible in a male-dominated space. Um, unbelievable, I think, service to South Africa, yes, but a message that they are sending that is just as important.